Life with four boys, coffee please. But Friday favorites, mystery brew from August 10th, 2018. Friday favorites, where we share our favorite things. And by we, I mean me. But I really do want to know what your favorite things are this week. So please leave a comment and let me know. In the podcast I've been listening to this summer, many of them end the podcast interview asking someone three or four of the same questions for every guest, or they tell you some of the things they're loving. It's always my favorite part. So I thought I would try to share with you what some of my favorite things of the week are. Last week, it was all about flowers because I truly love flowers. When I can't have vases of flowers all over my house anymore due to the hard frost, I seriously struggle. I love flowers. This week I had so many things to choose from, I have more than one post for you. But who can complain about having so many favorite things? And so I give you my three most favorite things this week. Prizes delivered to my door. I won this giveaway. And it arrived just in the nick of time. I am planning my week camping trip and guess what I don't have to worry about now? What books to pack? Is it just me or do you also pack a mini library when going away? The boys thought it was great that there were two broken crayons in the box that arrived. Now, I wondered whether I should mention that or not, but here's the thing. It's just real life and it made me like this author all the more that the box she sent me had leftover crayons in it. There was also bubble wrap, which lasted approximately 0.4 seconds before it all popped with force. Lauren even sent a handwritten note, which was just the sweetest. You can purchase Lauren K. Denton's latest book for $1.99 on Kindle, which is pretty sweet. There is still summer left to read a great summer book. This oil blend. I know nothing about essential oils. Not a thing. In fact, when they became all huge, I may have made fun of them a little. Recently, when Naomi was home from her travels across the country for a bit, Jake mentioned how when we were sitting together knitting on the couch, he noticed how much younger Naomi looks than me. Oh, isn't he just the sweetest? But Naomi was thrilled because, hold on, she really is the sweetest. She had been using some essential oil concoction the month she had been gone, and she was so excited to hear it was making dramatic differences. So she just whipped me up some. I have no idea what is in the mason jar she sent home with me, but you better believe that I smothered that stuff all over me like it was the fountain of youth. I tried using it morning and night, but it was just too icky feeling on me during the day, so I quit doing that. And then I quit using it as often as I was because I didn't notice a huge difference. Maybe because I see myself every day? Then I got sunburned. I mean like the super annoying, no, I didn't mean to do this, and yes, it hurt, so keep asking me, sunburn. I had taken the boys blueberry picking, then fishing, and got a little sun. Then I took the boys fishing the next day, and it was like my skin had just had enough and burnt, even with sunblock. Naomi told me to use the brew she had made me, and I learned how to smooth it on in a thin layer, and I kept it on for the whole week, morning and night. It did amazing things to my skin, and it made me never peel a bit. I could tell you, I could feel when the oil was wearing off, and I would just dip my finger in it and smooth it on again. I have a tiny bit in my jar left, and I am hoarding it because I don't know when Naomi is coming home again, and I need a full jar of this amazing whatever it is. Then she made me some new concoction, and I can only use it three days a week. It is so potent. I've been using it Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. That's my plan. And I kid you not, one week into using it, Jake mentioned that I sure look a lot younger than him. And how come I don't have bags under my eyes like he does? I could have given him a snarky comment, but the truth is, it's probably this brew that she made up. I'm not even sure if you call oils mixed together a brew. I don't know what to call it or what's in it or anything, but I do know that I never want to be without it again. This song, Joy, by King and Country. As stated before, Joy is my 2018 word of the year, so it's a no-brainer that this song would catch my attention. I have included the link to the lyric video so you can know what all the words are, but the music video is fun too. This and the Lauren Diego song are on constant repeat over here. 
and thanks to some three, Eli, riding his bike down to the DG, Dollar General, to pick me up a Bluetooth speaker the exact same week mine died. I can crank this song loud. Seriously. How sweet is he to find out DG's has Bluetooth speakers, wait to use the coupon to save some money, pedal his bike down there, and then come in the house swinging the bag and saying, here mama, I got this for you, with a big old grin on his face. <laughs> that boy. Anyhow, these are my favorites of the week. Tell me yours. I really want to know.